So now we are going to cover this application, uh, I mean, this onboarding uh, application where uh, we are going to build, uh, uh, we need to create a new application. So now once I log in with the administrator, um, so I need to create the application. Let's see how to create the application. And after that, we need to define uh, the workflow and, and the data model to, you know, like uh, how we, we are going to capture and uh, store the data into the database. So that will will cover those scenarios the step by step. So now um, let's see that how to create the application and uh, uh, I mean so before we start working onto the application, so we need to have some proper setup to work on that scenarios. So let let's see then how to create the application. Now this is the application menu. Okay, so this is the application menu. So click on this application menu. You have. Uh, you, you can see here the new application um, this is a wizard where we used to create uh, an application in this pair so now on click on here so it is asking some options where uh, uh, you want uh, build the application so uh, we have this this is uh, you see with the, the frameworks which are already created applications so you want extend this application or you want build from the scratch so now let's see click on here build from scratch and there you have the option think cosmos and cosmos react so this is where uh, the pega were introduced a new ui functionality where it is using the react so it's it's all needed a lot of customization on on the react so we don't need that so we are going to uh, following this theme cosmos so now select this one and now let it asking to create the application so my requirement is so i am going to uh, create an application where it where it is covered the functionality on onboarding the employee and leave management system so now i, I just want to use this application for my both uh, functionalities so i need to design the application so that is what we see uh, um, okay so that's what we see that designing the application uh, uh, you know uh, uh, at, at, in, at initial phase so now what we require here so i need to create a reusable component or reusable application so now so what is my reusable application where i'm going to create here so now i'm going to create a framework layer so i'm going to create uh, um, so abc um or oh, no, not on ebc like um, so like whatever it oh, just we can so now this is i'm going to implement uh, like a code okay so once we create this you know uh, the application let's see um uh, what this uh, the tool will create um, you can see here this is a, a um, application uh, layer so just click on here on the definition and you see it is built on theme cosmos and you see it is created some rule sets so we'll we'll discuss more on to this uh, you know uh, what is the rule sets and how we create a rules uh, uh, we can keep them into the specific rule sets and and uh, with the specific version and um, so this is this is about here you know what is your application and uh, uh, what is the rule set uh, within this application so uh, so user will get access uh, to this application and uh, where uh, user trying to create a rules uh, the rules where it, it using this you know the versions uh, you know uh, this application specific versions so that's where uh, that's what we'll see under this letter so now once we create this application um, what uh, uh, and also system would create what a classes as well so it is created uh, you know uh, enterprise class like you see there is a core and there's a extending the framework and this is the application layer this is entirely a class group so now let's see um, so going to the uh, here you see this is a okay uh, top level class enterprise layer uh, level class and there it is created few more classes right data framework and int so what is this data and int here the, these are what 
abstract or concrete so these are what abstract classes so now here we see this abstract classes can be extended whatever we create data classes so that data classes in what specific layer we are going to create in your application whether it is in in your organization layer or you can you can use that the data classes uh, you can create your uh, data classes into the uh, your application specific layer as well so this is how um, we we trying to create a rules and uh, uh, how we how we you know like uh, maintain the code whether it is in the framework layer or in your um, or enterprise uh, layer okay so this is this is how you know like whatever the application we create and uh, the, there is a specific class structure it will be create and there is the layers it will be divided as so whatever the framework or implementation so we we are dividing as what number of layers where the classes like a divisions and unit and each divisions and unit and organization it have the same specific data and int layers okay so this is how you know like uh, uh, we use it to implement the code in our real time as well so now once once we have done creating this core application and there on top of this application i am going to create our implementation application so now click on here um, the new application menu and um, i mean this application menu and uh, uh, click on the new application and we ha we have um, select the core application on top of i'm going to create and click on the uh, follow this uh, core application okay and here you see okay and now um go into techsoft okay um and now click on advanced configuration there i'm going to create an implementation so this is what my application or uh, this is what my organization okay uh, t info is my organization layer and where it is create the class structure right and now click on save it so this is what um, the application is employee here okay um okay employee here and uh, click on save it um where you know uh, i will point employee hire okay so now click on here and this is what my application and also um so like you see hra application will, will example we can take it as okay so hra is my application and um now let's click on here uh, this is an application this is part uh, you know uh, you can keep your application name um, so this is your application specific okay now click on save it now um click on create the application now it is created and also it is added to this operator so click on here uh, at uh, left side and click on the oper uh, operator menu and click on the operator and you see it is already added right so you can use the same credentials just to log off and log in and it, and we log into the this hra application fine right and also click on here and uh, go to the um, definition here you can see here uh, in this uh, this is what uh, this is uh, a class group in your implementation layer uh, and this is what a concrete class and there is a, a version where we are creating so there is no rule set version here for this class okay and you see this is the class where it is defined as a class group you can also see open this class group and this class group where it is mapping to the particular table uh, to map these spe class specific instances 
into the specific table right and there is a keys where it is added uh, there is a pyid uh, whatever you know the the work objects we create there is a unique id it will be generate okay and there you see what is the parent class so we need to be change these um, to our core application just give uh, it created the classes what the core right so just give it as a core application right so once you have done so we can reuse this layer code into your into your implementation uh, uh, okay so now let's save this one so what is the step we have to follow and next we have to define the case type so once we have done application setup where we created I mean the framework layer and implementation layer so there uh, once we done the all the setup let go to the case type and where we have to create your workflow and after that uh, we need to create a data types and the UI and there we have to test um, how you know how uh, we capturing the data and how we are processing right so now so what I hope um, the case type I need to create right so now um, so this is a leave management uh, one thing like apply leave okay so it is pattern um, and you can change to the direct to this core framework okay now click on submit And this is what one thing so now um, on board or you can see new hire okay so here uh, the same okay give the uh, director this core uh, framework class and now click on submit so for learning we can do the mistake but we need to correct and we need to analyze we need to understand uh, what's going on what we have done and what we have to do right so th those all things you have to observe and you have to learn and and you have to understand first of all right so now this is the case type where I have created so before that what is this case type here the case types where we use to define the workflow uh, okay so the workflow where we dividing as a number of stages and each stage